Hi, I'm Nikki Allison for Esoteric Technologies and in this short video I'm going to be demonstrating for you how to use the dial option in Astro Gold Astrology software. The dial and midpoints was popularised by Reinhold Eberton early last century in a system of astrology called Cosmobiology. So let's get stuck into it. So the first thing we need to do is have our base chart ready and I've chosen Julian Assange and as you can see we have our very familiar 360 degree chart cast and I'd just like you to notice the square here between the Sun and Uranus. The Sun is at 10 degrees Cancer and Uranus is at 9 degrees Libra. Both cardinal signs. Now when we click on dial you'll see that we have a 90 degree dial we don't have houses or signs anymore but what we do have is the, the signs split into cardinal, fixed and mutable. So the first 30 degrees of the dial are where the cardinal signs go. It doesn't matter what sign, it's all based on degree. The second 30 degrees, 30 to 60, is dedicated to fixed signs and again it doesn't matter what fixed sign it is, it's all about the degrees. And the next 30 degrees, 60 to 90, is for the mutable signs. So the Sun Uranus square in his natal chart, there it is, is displayed together in the dial because Uranus is 9 degrees Libra and the Sun is 10 degrees Cancer. So they're both in cardinal signs, so they're together in the dial here. So what we can do with the dial is we click on the arrow and we start spinning it around and it will just move through each degree of the zodiac. So when we get to 2 degrees 20 of a cardinal sign, this is on the midpoint between the Moon and Jupiter and Venus and Uranus and the node and the MC and so we can see that here. So when this point is transited by an outer planet or an inner planet, when 2 degrees 20 is transited, it's also going to activate Venus Uranus, Moon Jupiter and the node and the MC. The other thing that can be shown in the dial is when a planet is on a midpoint, as is this example here. Uranus is directly on the midpoint between Venus and Mercury. So whenever Uranus is transited, Venus and Mercury will also be affected. So that's how we work with the dial. Other ways that you can find your midpoints is to go to Sheets and to click on Midpoint List. And there you will see every single midpoint that exists in your chart, whether it's uh, immutable, fixed or cardinal. You can also just look at the midpoint trees here. Another way that you can find your midpoints and actually put them in the chart is to go up to Preferences. Click on Displayed, click on Add Extra Points and you will see this drop down box here where you can choose from lots of different options. Click on Midpoints and you will see all the midpoints listed here. And I think for Julian Assange it would be fitting to look for the Mercury Uranus midpoint. So we click on that, we click on Add. And you'll see that it's displayed here in the plus one extra point. And then we go to the chart. And there it is. Uranus Mercury midpoint is at one degrees of Virgo. It's very high in the chart, even though it's not close to the MC. Now just to remove that from the chart, you go back to preferences, click on the one plus extra point box. 
highlight it and click on delete, go back to the chart and you will see that it has been removed from the chart. And that is how you work with dials and midpoints.